Hey guys, it's Davin here at BrewBits. You've caught me on Brew Day, and I thought I'm going to brew up my favourite cider. Oh my goodness. Why do they make these on so strong? Oh, yay. And my favourite cider is quite a simple mix. It's two cans of John Bull Country Cider. And you know, uh, I've lost it. Ah, oh, oh well, it's one of those days. John Bull Country Cider. So two cans of that. If I'm gonna get this one off easily. Yes! And no sugar. If you've not seen me make this in our other video properly, then this is just a really quick video to show you how easy and quick it is to make. So the two cans of John Ball cider go into my fermenting bucket. I've got a kettle full of water over here. That's going on because I need two liters of water. Awesome, so my kettle's just boiled and I need, whoa, it's a bit of a spurty one. I need two liters. Go. And that goes straight in. A really good stir. Get it all mixed in. Now I've still got some glump in, loop in the bottom of my um, tins. You could do this with the boiling water if you want, or you can do it with the cold water. The apple juice concentrate in here comes out very, 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 very easily. It's not like a beer kit. Is it going to stay in there? Yes, it did. Lovely. And now all I have to do with my extendable tap is top this up to 23 litres. Sweet. That's the 23 litres of water. And now we're going to add the sachets that came with it. So we've got uh, the yeast nutrient and the cider. Now, we're only going to need to use one nutrient because that's going to be more than enough for this kit. But to speed up the whole process, I'm going to use both sachets of the yeast. And all that's going to do is add loads more yeast in there right at the beginning. And that's going to mean this is going to start fermenting a little bit quicker than if we just used one sachet. Simple as that. That gets stirred in. In it goes. And in a moment, that's it all knocked down and in. So that's going to hydrate. That's going to get to work really, really quick. I'll probably take a sample with my trial jar just to check the specific gravity, just to work out what sugar dissolved in this is so uh, we can work out the final ABV. But otherwise, this goes into my warm cupboard now with the lid clipped down in a few places for seven to 10 days to ferment at 18 to 22 degrees C. So making a John Ball cider is as quick and easy as that. I prefer to use two cans with no sugar. If you want to, you can use one can in sugar, but this is my preferred method. I think it gives a really good, authentic West Country cider. If you want to see the full method of how I make a John Ball two can country cider, then you'll find down below the links to our full videos of how we actually do this with better explanations, full explanations uh, as to exactly what we do. And there's also a video there giving you a, a taste results, uh, letting you know how it all tastes. But for now, happy brewing. I hope you enjoy this quick little short video.